Okay, so let's face it, filming cinematic stuff can be extremely difficult, but filming those things alone, well, that's even harder. But that's why I think with a few tips and a couple of insanely cool features in Filmora, you'll be able to master not only filming alone, but making it cinematic as well. Let's get right into it. Now the first one is obviously going to be planning. Now planning is a very important part of any cinematic video or any video in general because it makes the filming which is up next so much easier. Now when I talk about planning there's not very much to say all you really have to do when planning is basically just outline the storyboard of the video so if i'm gonna plan this video for example i'm literally just gonna write a few shots that i want to put in and then few few things i have to say in the video or few things i want to talk about or things i want to show or whatever so yeah planning is a very important part but for me it's a very brief thing i don't really get in depth to it too much but um if it is a very cinematic video and i have to plan every single thing yeah then planning is very important but for me when making youtube videos it's more like a thing where i can just go back to and say okay this still has to come in the video let's go film that real quick and that's very simple okay so the second thing i want to talk about is filming now filming is one of the best parts of creating content in my experience and as i said if your planning is right your filming will be so much easier now when filming yourself cinematically especially when you're alone as i said it can be difficult but I think the only thing you really have to search for is get creative angles. And I think that's a very big part of filming and getting that cinematic look is the angles are more creative. It's better than just a random flat wall behind you and stuff like that. Go to the side, move the camera, but put it on the ceiling, on the floor. Literally, you have so much room for creativity. So use that room and it will help you to create and it will automatically look more cinematic when you play with um, weird angles and stuff like that. I think that's what's so cool about filming yourself cinematically because it's down to you and your style how you want to present yourself on camera. So you can put it low angles, high angles, whatever you decide on, that is going to be your style. So yeah, with that said, let's go to Filmora and I'll show you exactly some of the cool features they have added to help you make cinematic videos and it's so simple let's get right into it okay so let's talk finally about editing now when using Filmora they have included so much cool features that help you um, to make your videos more cinematic as a whole so I'm just gonna talk about two things they're added and I think it can help you so much so firstly what you want to do is once you're here at your main page you want to go to titles now here at the normal titles there is a bunch of different fonts and themes that you can choose from so let's go to what this video is about cinematic now here in cinematic you can get a bunch of different fonts from travel cinematic to magazine to movies to poster to there's so much cinematic stuff here to you can use for completely free this i'm just getting into the basics but there is a lot of different fonts that can make your videos more cinematic um so yeah that's basically all i have to say about the text so let's go with one of the important things and that's going to be color grading okay so let's go and talk about the color grading part of creating cinematic videos now once again as i said in the filming the colors you use obviously comes down to your type of style so you can do a extremely cold type of cinematic you get the warmer type of cinematic i mean it's hard to explain but let me just show you what i mean so all you want to do is you want to go to effects now as you guys can see i already have some of my own effects that i use in most of my videos um you can either make it a warm cinematic or a cold cinematic so let me show you what i mean so a cold cinematic would be a cool blue that i can add and then it then it looks like this 
and then a warm cinematic would obviously be like that. It's important when you color grade your cinematic videos, it's important to get your style, not so, don't copy, I mean you can copy, but get your own style and then just build from that. So let's say in the beginning I was like, okay, my cinematic is gonna be more of a warm cinematic with like sunshine and stuff. Stick with that cinematic because then the audience gets to know you through that type of cinematic. So yeah, hope that makes sense. Okay, so there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't understand anything, make sure to just leave a comment and I'll try to respond to you guys. Uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.